Tightened the life of Elian Gonzalez, a young Cuban boy who became the center of an international custody battle after he was rescued from the waters off our shores. Now, 17 years later, Elian is talking about what his life has been like since he returned to Cuba. He speaks highly of Fidel Castro and even speculates who he might have been had he stayed in America. Local 10's Hatzovella reports from Havana. Back behind the barricade! You all remember that image, a child looking terrified, caught in between a political war that had already been brewing for decades. Now, 23 years old, here is Elian Gonzalez walking around his hometown in Cardenas. He sits down alongside his father to talk about his life. Elian ponders what life would be like had he stayed in the U.S. Creo que hubiese sido una imagen insignia de, de ese grupo en, de cubanos en Miami que trata de destruir la revolución, que trata de, de, de hacer ver mal a Cuba. The engineer by trade goes on to say maybe he could have been an actor, made money, a life of comfort, but says it would have been at a cost of not having his family and the tranquility he has here in Cuba. Many people back in South Florida will say his answers are partly scripted, partly brainwashing. He denies it, says his father would never allow it. Yo creo que la mejor forma de mostrar que no se me lavó el cerebro o que nadie influenció en mis decisiones es Fidel, porque Fidel puso en mis manos muchas cosas. As for both families coming together, Elian's father has an answer. Las mejores intenciones tengo de, de perdonarlo, de, de que pueda seguir una relación como la hubo siempre de, de parte de las dos familias, ellos con sus ideales, nosotros con nosotros. On President Donald Trump and his new U.S.-Cuba policy, Elian says it's a pity what has happened and hopes relations improve. Cada uno puede tener sus puntos de vista diferentes y puede existir... Eh, diferencias ideológicas y políticas, pero creo que no tenemos por qué seguir separando los pueblos, creo que no tenemos por qué seguir separando la familia. Raúl Castro has said he will step down as president next year, and Elian talks about the future of the island nation. Las ideas de los Castro no van a terminar con que termine un mandato, porque Cuba es mucho más que su gobierno. Seems like the U.S. did leave a mark on Elian. But he's adamant both his feet are very much planted here in Cuba. No sería lo que soy si no hubiese estado en Estados Unidos. I'm Hatsovella, Local 10 News, Havana.